I used to kind of call him the lovable sidekick. Um, while he was perfectly happy to kind of live off of Vince and everything that came with having the best friend being a movie star, uh, what I always tried to do, and I think what the character became, was just a very relatable blue-collar guy who was very loyal to his friends. I always say that with what the show was, is that it didn't matter which one of the four of these guys made it. Uh, they were all always going to go along for the ride, whether it were Turtle or Drama or Vince. Uh, Vince just happened to have the best odds and uh, and made it and took his three best friends with him. And Turtle's probably the most loyal, uh, fun-loving, doesn't have a filter, says what's ever in his mind, kind of the last one to mature. He's very childlike uh, and just, uh, just a fun guy. Johnny Drama, played by Kevin Dillon expertly, uh, is Vincent Chase's half-brother and also probably the reason why Vince is an actor because he himself is an actor. And um, he, he's been on every television show imaginable, yet no one knows his name. He's kind of that guy, like, aren't you were in that thing? And they can't quite place him. Uh, he's all heart, and he's had his own ups and downs. Ari, played by Jeremy Piven, is the super agent who started off with Vince in a Mentos commercial and led him to superstardom. And of all the clients he has, and we've seen some of them in cameos, Vince has always kind of been his, his baby, his passion project. He's always dated over his head a little bit. If you even go back to Lauren London and Jamie Lynn and Danya Ramirez, like these are very, very beautiful, smart, intelligent women. Um, so you think he had, Turtle, I guess, is just really funny or really good in bed. That's the only way you could get these girls. But um, in this movie, you know, Doug always had the same kind of theory in mind. Like, we're going to kind of set that element up again where Turtle's going after a girl that's kind of probably unattainable, and which is crazy now because Turtle might actually be, in, by L.A. standards, more attractive now that he's successful. And um, he, he finds Ronda Rousey, who he claims... They had a moment at Coachella where they connected. She's just, I am just so blown away by her. She is one of the most talented and impressive people. And you know what? Deservingly so, which makes it even all the more sweeter is when good things happen to good people. I responded to the script similarly to, I'm hoping that the fans and new fans will respond to the movie in the same way where it, it just has everything you'd want. Like if you if you've enjoyed this entourage world, it has the fast cars, it has the houses, the girls, it has the great cameos, but more importantly, it just has the heart. All athletes want to be actors, and I think all actors want to be athletes. You know, like I think they're psyched to like meet the entourage guys and kind of maybe be a cameo in the movie because maybe deep down they want to act and be on the big screen. I think we're just super psyched because I, I just want to catch passes from Russell Wilson and arm wrestle Clay Matthews. And I just think that's the that's kind of the cycle that's been created. I don't know. But I also think similarly to what the Vince character has done, I think athletes kind of have to go through it. They are thrust into a crazy world at a very young age where they're making a lot of money and they have a lot of people and a lot of eyeballs on them. And I just think they probably have their own entourage because they just want to have the people around them that they could trust. That's what's like made this show so special is it, there definitely was a world that was built that somewhere in this world, Bob Saget is our neighbor and Johnny Drama, you know, broke into the business back in the day with Andrew Dice Clay and Gary Busey, you know, lives by Turtle at the beach somewhere. And and in this world, you know, Mark Cuban, who's playing himself and was a fan of the show, and obviously, you know, everybody kind of knows Mark Cuban's deal, you know, and now he's on the show Shark Tank. Like, he bought out this company, and it's kind of cool now in the movie version to – to see that he's Turtle's like a little protege. Like Cuban's kind of that's that he, Cuban's his guy. And it's it's really, really cool to see.